Sheila, I know we're trying to conceive, but I can't have sex with you right now. I just ate an onion bagel. I'm not calling for that, Lewis. Well, then why'd you call on the sex phone? Because I knew you'd answer, and I just couldn't wait to tell you. Lewis? We hit the jackpot. What jackpot? The jackpot. Publisher's Clearinghouse? No, I mean, we don't need the sex phone anymore because, well, Lewis, you hit the bullseye. Oh, my God. My boys can swim? Yes, my king. Yes, they can. Sheila, this is amazing. We need to tell my... Lewis, I know you're going to want to tell everyone, but before you do, I want you to promise that we'll keep this between the two of us for a while. Wait, so you mean not tell anyone? Yeah, just for a while. Okay, Sheila, can you hold on a sec? I think I'm getting a call. Well, <clears throat> okay, it was just a billing question. All taken care of. You just jumped up and down in your entirely glass office, didn't you? Yes, but I stopped now. Then I'll see you tonight when we can celebrate properly. Ah, Gretchen, good you're here. Listen, I need you to fly. Sheila's pregnant, isn't she? Oh, shit. How could you know that? Two minutes ago, you were on your sex phone. Then you started dancing up and down like footloose pointing to your nether regions. What else could it be? Nothing else. Gretchen. I'm going to have a baby. I can't believe I'm saying this, Lewis. You're going to be a world-class father. That I am. And I intend to be a part of every moment, which is why I need you to look into what it takes to get certified as a midwife. If you think I'm going to be a midwife to your baby, you got a whole nother thing coming. No, not for you, for me. And I'm out. What? You think I couldn't do it? I know you couldn't. Well, damn it, Gretchen. You want to be a wet nurse, too? You know what? I would if I could. And you just said that I would be a great father. So you can help me with this or not? All right, Louis. I'll look into it. Because like I said before, you're going to be a great father. <laughs> Louis, I can't believe you got us a reservation here so quickly. Sheila, you're going to be the mother of my son. I'm getting you in wherever you want to go. Son? Or daughter. Well, here's to watching either one of them take ballet lessons and tap and learn to twirl the baton. Oh, my God. I get to teach him the baton. I can't wait. It's why I want to have a boy. And I can't wait because we're going to be a family. And we're going to do everything together. We're going to get ready in the morning together. We're going to go on vacations together. We're going to get to visit him at Camp Brucha and see him come running out in his little... Wait a second. Camp Bracha? No, Sheila, I know I told you that the kids there burnt all my underwear, but I'm telling you it made me stronger. Louis, your underwear isn't what I'm talking about. I meant Bracha is a Jewish camp. Yeah, so what? So it never occurred to me that you'd want to raise our child Jewish. Of course I do. I thought it went without saying. Just like I thought it went without saying that we wouldn't raise them anything. Why would you think that? Okay, Louis. How would your parents feel if we said we were going to raise our child Catholic? Exactly. That's how my parents would feel if we raised our child Jewish. Yeah, but it's different. Not to me, it isn't. Sheila. Louis, please. This is supposed to be a celebration. Can't you just let it go? Of course, Sheila. Consider it gone. 